Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode, how to install and use Azure Storage Explorer. Uh, it is a free tool and uh, you can easily manage your storage resources from any operating system. As well you can attach all Azure storage accounts from your subscription and not just for one subscription but for all you have uh, what I'm going to give you in this video is how to connect from storage explorer to your storage accounts uh, different types of connection uh, why not how to install and explain the main features that should help you in, uh, in the future uh, the download can be done from uh, Azure Microsoft portal just select your operating system and uh, download it after that uh, install it is better simple uh, so I already installed it so let's take a look uh, to an interface uh, so here we have a toggle explorer uh, for attached storage account uh, for the storage account that will be connected here uh, here we you have the storage account with a shop with an option to add a new one uh, below we can initiate a connection with different type for example to use a connection string uh, ss URI, our storage account or your azure account and below the settings tab where you configure a new term as well uh, the proxy server uh, in case you have it in your environment okay and the top uh, menu we have an edit um, the same option to configure the proxy we have SSL certificate it used to target Azure stack uh, actually so these two options are linked to each other uh, in the preview we have used device code flow sign this option is used for devices that don't offer an interactive authentication experience for example web version uh, use AZ copy for improved blob upload and download this option will be offer you a double speed to copy your information but this uh, <coughs> sorry but this performance depending on your machine and uh, your internet connection so let's start to attach a resource to the storage explorer uh, to do this let's open the connection dialog so the first demonstration i will use azure account click next So here is your account that it used to authenticate via Azure portal. After authentication, the account will be presented here in, uh, in Toggle Explorer as well. Uh, and of course, all the storage account uh, from your subscription uh, will be connected to storage um, explorer so what you can do from here so you can do exactly the same settings as in azure portal uh, for example to generate a SAS token uh, to copy the primary key the secondary key to change the default access tire uh, so if you navigate for example for this uh, storage account if you navigate to blob server service so you have an option here to create a new blob container uh, to configure course this option uh, actually is more related to the devops settings that allow clients to access resources from any web domain you that you authorize 
of course with specific headers and methods uh, the next one uh, is to set up is uh, to set up soft delete policy for example when you accidentally removed your content after and after five days you realized that the removed information was important and uh, this option offer you to recover it so if you want to learn more about uh, this option please check uh, in the description a link I will uh, paste it okay so in this video I'm I'm not going to show you how to generate a SAS token because I already did this in previous video please check uh, in suggested video uh, but I would like to add one thing that I did not mention in the previous episode is how to manage access policy the first step is to define uh, the access policy actually this is the name of your policy For zero one start date expire time and uh, read create write delete not to list okay save the next step is to generate ss token and of course your policy is presented here and then you realize that this option makes your job easy create so you have very and query string that is better simple uh, now let me show you how to connect with a storage account name and key uh, to do this go to connection dialog and uh, choose user storage account name and key click next uh, display your name how do you want storage connection one uh, account name let me go to access key copy the storage name account key uh, to mention that this uh, storage account will be presented in uh, local and attached storage click next connect as you can see the storage account is uh, presented here uh, you can do the same things uh, as uh, in subscription uh, this doesn't matter uh, you should realize that uh, when you use a key for a storage account you have full control to it so keep in mind who is knowing uh, you okay okay uh, now let's uh, do a connection with a shared access signature that is a cool option when you need to give access with a specific right and uh, expiration date for example before doing this uh, let me generate a SAS to do this let me go to settings added access signature I will leave this all default generate a SAS connection string so let me go back here and initiate a new connection next display name the same things it doesn't matter storage connection SAS one and now we paste the blob next connect as you can see guys we are connected to the same storage account with um, three different type of connection via subscription uh, storage account and SAS token but you can limit the right just for this uh, storage account because uh, you use a SAS token 
and you can specify the rights and the the end time uh, to deny the authorization for this uh, for this service so hope the information for today was useful if you want to see more videos how to generate a SaaS token for example configure the storage account and more please check my previous video and uh, of course subscribe for upcoming videos and see you next time thank you